And here, once again, we find ourselves voyaging down the river Styx, stopping at some random tributary or fjord where we find four of the loneliest and saddest examples of mankind lurking around on the shores, just kind of standing there and kicking their heels or something. Who knows with these guys? Anyway, let's just get this ordeal over and done with. Give it up, ladies and germs for the depressing, the heinous, the incomparable divorced man's ready group. Yeah! show last uh, Saturday, it was, Saturday, it was Valentine's Day, that was a hard time for us, but uh, what we like to do in order to heal the pain and the loneliness is get together and read excerpts from female erotica. Yeah! And so tonight we will be reading highlights from the entire Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Yeah! Absolutely. And without further ado, please go absolutely apeshit for your first reader, Levon Polinelli. Yeah! Have you now? He whispers and lifts me so that I'm hovering over him. <laughs> Ready? He breathes. Yes, I whisper, and he eases me onto him. Slowly, exquisitely slowly, filling me, watching me as he takes me. I groan, closing my eyes, and I revel in the sensation, the stretching fullness. <laughs> He flexes his hips, and I gasp, leaning forward, resting my forehead against his. He looks so hot. <laughs> We're wet and slippery and moving against each other. I lean down and kiss him. I tug his hair, tipping his head back and deepen the kiss, riding him faster, picking up the rhythm. I am close. I am starting to recognize this delicious tightening, quickening. And the water, it's swirling around us, our own whirlpool, a stirring vortex as our movements become more frantic, sloshing everywhere, mirroring what's happening inside of me. I just don't care. I love this man. I love his passion, the effect I have on him. I love that he's flown so far to see me. I love that he cares about me. He cares. It's so unsuspected, so fulfilling. He is mine and I am his. That's right, baby, he breathes. And I come, my orgasm ripping through me, a turbulent, passionate apogee that devours me whole. And suddenly Christian crushes me to him, his arms wrapped around my back as he finds his release. Anna, baby, he cries, and it's a wild invocation, stirring and touching the depths of my soul. Yes, that was Levon Polinelli. Uh, now please welcome our second reader who made his debut last week and he crushed it. He's here to crush it again. Give it up for the almost naked Glenn Grimwood. Have you had enough yet, Anna? Christian whispers into my ear. Oh please, I beg. Pulling on the restraints above my head as I stand blindfolded and tethered to the grid in the playroom. The flogger's sweet sting bites into my behind. Please, what? I gasp. Please, sir. Christian places his hand over my ringed skin and rubs gently. There, there, there. His words are soft. His hand moves south, around, and his fingers slide into me. I groan. Mrs. Gray, he breathes, and his teeth pull at my earlobe. You're so ready. <laughs> his fingers slide in and out of me, hitting that spot, that sweet, sweet spot again. The flogger clatters onto the floor, and his hands move over my belly and up to my breasts. I tense. They are sensitive. <laughs> His fingers continue their relentless assault in, out, in, out, keeping a rhythm. Shall I make you come like this, he asks. 
No. His fingers stopped moving inside me. What do you want, Anastasia? You. Always. All of you. He eases his fingers out of me, pulls me around to face him, and removes the blindfold. I blink up into the darkening grey eyes that burn into mine. His index, his index fingers trace my bottom lip, and he pushes his index and middle fingers into my mouth, letting me taste the salty tang of my arousal. <laughs> Suck, he whispers. I swirl my tongue around and between his fingers. Mmm. Even I taste good on his fingers. Now, please welcome your third reader, Jeff Hewitt. Now, it's usually I don't do this, but uh, I don't know what I'm That's it, Christian Grass. Feel it, baby. I detonate around him. Again and again. Round and round. Screaming loudly as my orgasm rips me apart. Scorching through me like a wildfire. Consuming everything. I am wrung ragged. Tears streaming down my face. My body left pulsing and shaking. And I'm aware that Christian kneels still inside me. Pulling me upright onto his lap. He clutches my head with one hand and my back with another, and he comes violently inside me. <laughs> While my insides continue to tremble with aftershocks. It's draining, it's exhausting, it's hell, it's heaven. <laughs> it's hedonism gone wild. <laughs> Christian tears off the blindfold and kisses me. He kisses my eyes, my nose, my cheeks. He kisses away the tears, clutching my face in between his hands. I love you, Mrs. Gray, he breathes, even though you make me so mad. I feel so alive with you. I don't have the energy to open either my eyes or my mouth to respond. Very gently, he lays me back on the bed and eases out of me. I mouth some wordless protest. off the bed and undoes the handcuffs. When I'm free, he gently rubs my wrists and ankles, then lies down beside me again, pulling me into his arms. I stretch out my legs. Oh my, that feels good. I feel good. That was, without doubt, the most intense climax I have ever endured. Mm. <laughs> A Christian Grey, Fifty Shades, Punishment, Fuck. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, please make some noise for your fourth and final reader, the incomparable Magnus Danger Magnus! Anastasia, it's me I whisper. Where? You know where. Where? Oh, he's taking no prisoners. In Paris, I quickly point at the apex of my thighs, and he grins wickedly. I close my eyes, mortified, but at the same time, beyond aroused. Oh, with pleasure, he chuckles. He kisses me and unleashes his tongue, his joy-inspiring expert tongue. I groan and fist my hands into his hair. He doesn't stop, his tongue circling my clitoris, driving me insane. On and on, round and round. Ah, it's only been how long? Oh, Christian, please, I beg. I don't want to come standing up. I don't have this strength. 
please, what, Anastasia? Make love to me. He stands and gazes down at me, and his lips glisten with the evidence of my arousal. <laughs> Holy cow! My inner goddess cheers loudly to the rims, and I drop to my knees in front of him, rather clumsily and with shaking fingers. I undo his waistband and fly, then yank down his jeans and boxes, and he springs free. <laughs> wow! Very tentatively, I put him in my mouth and suck hard. Mm, he tastes good. He cups my head tenderly and I push him deeper into my mouth, pressing my lips together as tightly as I can, feeding my teeth and sucking hard. Fuck, he hisses. Oh, that's a good, inspiring, sexy sound. So, I do it again, feeling and pulling the length deeper, swirling my tongue around the end. Hmm. I feel like Aphrodite. <laughs> 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 <laughs>